Hey guys, Jesse from TurboKits.com here. I uh, wanted to follow up our comparison of the 6266s uh, with the new 6466 Next Gen versus the Gen 2 6466 here. So the 6466 was always a Gen 2 ball bearing turbo. There was no journal bearing option. There was no Gen 1 option. So the comparison becomes a little easier to understand. Uh, very same as the last video we put together. The Gen, uh, the Gen 2 6466 has the same 64 mil inducer, uh, runs an 86 mil uh, exducer. Uh, sorry, it runs an 84 mil exducer with a extended tip bringing it up to 86 mil. It's got the ported SP cover uh, and the 66 mil turbine wheel. The 66, 64, 66 next gen turbo has the same 64 mil inducer, but they bump it up to an 86 mil exducer with the extended tip bringing it to 88 mil. So that's where you're getting that additional 100% uh, 100 horsepower of flow. They also updated their compressor housings for the next gen from the S covers to the SCP covers. This new flow design on the compressor housing also helps give it more flow, uh, giving you the 1,000 horsepower capable Precision 6466 Next Gen Turbo. Again, same as the 62s or pretty much any of their Next Gens. Uh, because it runs the same turbine wheel, you can order it as a super core. This is the super core, which would be the centerpiece and the compressor housing. And you can drop it right into any of the precision 66 mil turbine housings. That way, if you're going from a 64, 66 Gen 2, and you either need to replace it or you just want to upgrade to more power, you can get the 64, 66 Next Gen Super Core and it drops right into place. All the same flanges, all the same fittings, all the same couplers and clamps and everything drops right into place. 100 additional horsepower. We have these turbos on the shelf. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. We'd be happy to get them right out to you. Thank you very much.